To start the wooden flooring installation, you need to inspect carefully for any seepage of water on the floor through walls of tiles and get them fixed. Be it concrete, mosaic, existing wood floor, vitrified or ceramic tiles etc. These Action Tessa wooden laminate tiles can be easily installed on any surface. To begin with, stack these laminate flooring tiles before installation as they need some time to adjust to the room's temperature, humidity and environment. Remove any plastic wrapping from the boxes and leave gaps around each box to allow the air to freely circulate around them. Acclimate the flooring in the house for 48 to 72 hours before installation. Divide the width of the room with the width of the plank to know the exact number of planks needed. Keep about 5 to 10 percent extra flooring than the total square feet area of the room for cutting and wastage. Next, you need to clean the subfloor to make sure it's free from any dirt and debris before laying down the wooden flooring. If installing on top of a new concrete floor, wait until the floor is fully cured and dry. 12% is the maximum moisture level for a concrete base floor. Do not install laminate flooring on floors that have a drain. Before the installation, use a leveler to check that the floor is leveled. Pay attention to any incline or decline in the base flooring levels. The difference in the leveling of the floor must be less than 3 mm within a 2 meter lens. If the surface level is not uniform, the flooring profile can be damaged. A grinder must be used to level the high base flooring. In case of lower levels, white gaps or broken base flooring, cement or putti can be used to level it up. Start by laying out the vapor barrier one row at a time from the longest wall of the room. The direction of laying this polythin should be the same as of the wooden flooring. When joining two sheets of barrier together, the joint of the PVC film must be overlapped by at least 50 mm and joined together with the help of an adhesive tape. Using this vapor barrier product helps control water vapor migration through concrete slabs. Around 0.2 mm of a thick polythene layer is required under the wooden flooring. To protect the floor with the corner, to avoid dampness, polythene must be laid next to the wall above 200 mm. These 200 micron thick expanded polyethylene sheets are used to absorb sound from the flooring. Start by laying out the 2000 micron EPE foam sheet one row at a time from the longest wall of the room. EPE sheets are to be joined with the butt joint and are not to be overlapped. These joints can be sealed using an adhesive tape. Now we are ready to install the wooden flooring. Herringbone flooring installation requires two types of Action Tessa laminate herringbone flooring boxes with right and left side blanks in equal quantity. We can install the herringbone flooring in different patterns like diagonal single plank herringbone pattern, diagonal double plank herringbone pattern, diagonal triple plank herringbone weave pattern, herringbone 3P weave pattern, herringbone 2P weave pattern, herringbone 1P weave pattern, brick V pattern and brick H pattern. To lay out any kind of diagonal plank herringbone pattern, first measure the room and mark a center line to get a diagonal reference. The herringbone diagonal pattern will be installed with the two color combination along this center line. Diagonal single plank herringbone pattern. For a diagonal single plank herringbone pattern, start with the tongue towards the built up direction and install the pattern one row at a time. First, we shall install a single colored pair of the left and right side planks at a 45 degree angle from the wall in W shape.
Carry out a diagonal triple plank herringbone weave pattern. Firstly, install a single colored pair of the left and right side triple planks at a 45 degree angle from the wall in W shape parallel to the wall. Likewise, install the second colors pair of the left and right side triple planks at a 45 and right side double planks will also be installed at the same 90 degree Brick V Herringbone Flooring To lay out the Brick V Herringbone Flooring, single colored right side planks may look best pointing the points in the direction of the longest dimension of the room. We will start assembling the planks parallel to the longest wall and the plank joints appearing in a vertical shape. The last plank needs to be trimmed to fit the leftover space. To mark the plank, place it directly over the second last plank up to the wall. This will help mark the exact gap between the wall and the second last plank. Rip cut the plank along this line and install it.
needs to be trimmed to fit the leftover space. Rip cut the plank along this line and install it. Follow this design pattern and complete the installation process. It is also necessary to maintain a 10 mm gap at all corners. Install a 10 mm spacer block at every 2 feet, leaving necessary space. Laminated flooring can expand from 0.3 to 0.5% in length and width according to the temperature and humidity. This is where these spacers create an expansion gap so that the floor can breathe. Lay a piece of flooring flat on the subfloor and up against the door jams. Use it as a guide to mark the jams so that the new flooring can slide underneath the jam. Use a flat saw or a coping saw to cut the jams parallel to the subfloor. This will give the floor and jam a nice finished look without having to remove the entire jam. Install any of these thresholds between the end of the flooring and any open doors where the flooring ends. They come in different styles like skirting, bidding and profiling. You can use them to accommodate the type and height of the flooring the new laminate floor butts up against. Next is to install the skirting to beautify the wooden flooring further. Remove these spacer blocks and install these profile lengths on the walls using nails. Cut the profiles from one end to make them join perfectly in the corners. Use a minimum of 12 mm skirting do not cut them from the planks as they are only 8 mm thick. For the corners where we don't have walls, we use these biddings instead of skirting. So, here's your room with all the new wooden flooring. Action Tessa Wooden Laminate Flooring. Beautifying your lives.